Hello and welcome to another edition of Daily KHL Update. We've got four games for you tonight. So without further ado, let's get started. Andrei Miranov and Dana Moscow visit Vitis in Podolsk. And they start strong as Filip Novak blasts one in on a power play, 1-0 Dynamo. That's Novak's first of the year. Good job by Leo Kramarov screening the goalie in the slot too. Still in the first, Logan Pyatt starts a 2-1 rush for Vitis, feeds Maxim Ribbon and he doesn't bury it. Oh, what a miss by the captain. That should have been a goal. Second period, Alex Korlov feeds Mitra Shudikov in front, he shoots and it looks like he scores. Did it really? They go upstairs to review the play and no! The puck flip flop along the goal line but never went in, still 1-0 Dynamo. Third period now, Alexei Sopin breaks into the zone, winds up, shoots, scores! Ivan Lissuda had a piece of it but that wasn't enough, 2-0 Dynamo. Sopin scores his second of the season and that gives Dynamo a cushion they needed. Dynamo holds on to a 2 0 lead and wins the fifth straight. Reading Champs won 5 out of 5 games to start the season as Alex Uremenko earned his second shutout of the year. All systems go for Dynamo Moscow. Welcome to gorgeous Astana, Kazakhstan, where Boris meets Atlant. Atlant is still looking for the first win of the season. First period, Talgatri Laulov puts on some fancy moves, shoots, and Fedor Prolishuk scores his second of the season. 1 0 Boris. Last seconds of the period now, Boris is looking for another goal and they get it! Roman Starshenko goes for a desperation shot from a bad angle with 3 seconds on the clock and he finds the back of the net, 2-0 Boris. Second period now, Boris is up 2-1 and they get another goal here, and a weird one at that too. Brandon Bachansky fed Daniel Doss in the slot, he took a shot, Sergei Borisov made a save, but the puck went up and over him and into the net, unlucky. Still in the second, Boris is up 3-2, Zalaulov storms to the net, falls down and Kasakhin Pushkarov finishes the job. It's 4-2 Boris now. Later in the period, Sergei Shmilov makes it 4-3 as he scores his second of the night on the rebound. Atlanta is still hanging on. Boris extends their lead to a two-goal differential again in the third as Evgeny Vlahin blasts one home to make it 5-3. Atlanta gets it back with a howitzer from Rafael Batushin on the power play. It's 5-4 with lots of hockey to be played. No scoring after that though, Boris holds on to the lead and they get their third W of the season. They now have 9 points and they are tied for first place with Ugra in the Eastern Conference. Last game Kyle Wilson scored a hat-trick, can he get anything past Rusty South Slider tonight as Dynamo Riga meets Red Army? Let's find out. First period, Igor Grigorenko shoots from up close, hits the post and the puck bounces back onto the ice. That could have been a great start for Red Army, we're not even 20 seconds into the game, wow. Minutes later, Grigorenko feeds Fedor Fedorov for an open net shot and he whiffs on the puck. No goal! Fedorov is frustrated and he takes his revenge on Marcel Hose. We got a fight going on. If you know anything about Fedor Fedorov, it's not a good idea to challenge him to a fight. Still in the first, Grigorenko chases the puck. Michael Tuckless misplays in his own end. Grigorenko shoots and he comes this close to give us our first goal of the night. What a risky play by Tuckless. Riga makes Red Army pay for that seconds later as Mix Indra scores his second of the season. Matt Robinson and Robert Bookers with the assists. Second period now, Red Army with a man advantage. Alex Radulov to Maxim Goncharov and he sends it home from one knee, 1-1. One, one. Goncharov is a former Phoenix Coyotes prospect who came back to Red Army after having spent three years in the AHL. No scoring after that, so moves straight to the shootout and Red Army swaps Rostislav Stanek for Yakov Skorikov as they often do. Robert Booker is taking a shot for Riga, scores! Alex Radulov has a chance to tie it up in the second round and he makes no mistake, it's all tied up again. Sudden death now, Alex Radulov has taken another shot and he scores another one! Red Armour takes the lead, Dynamo Riga has to score now, Robert Booker is trusted with another shot, he waits, he waits, he waits and he can't beat Proskurikov. Red Army wins the shootout and gets an extra point. Alex Rudolov added another assist to his name, extended his point streak to 5 games now and scored on both shootout attempts. What a night! Spartak hosted Lev and got another win, their fourth of the year. Martin Thornberg scored a pair for the Czech team and Pavel Medvedev answered with two of his own for Spartak, including the game-winning goal. Reports say that after the game, Lev's Martin Chef swore to break Slava Kozlov's arm next time the two meet. How very polite of him. Spartak is now tied for third with SKA in the Western Conference. And this is it for your daily KHL update. If you want more hockey, make sure to tune in tomorrow. My name is Andrea Sachinka. See you tomorrow.